My sister reminded me tonight that when we used to live together, which we did for about two years, every once in a while I would call her in a panic because I had left my insulin or my insulin pump at home and I was now at work or at rehearsal. And you're probably thinking, how the heck can that happen? But it didn't happen often, but it definitely did happen. When I used vials, uh, you would, you know, take it out and use it at night with dinner, and it would end up on the, the table, and then, you know, it would never make it back into my purse, and in the morning I'd be in such a rush, and I'd just grab my purse, and I'd run out the door, and now that I have an insulin pump, it's actually that, you know, you take it off to shower. So I take it off to shower, and I get ready to go, and basically never remember to reattach it and throw it in my pocket and so I'll walk out the door. Now, most of the time you catch yourself relatively quickly, like I'll leave my door and before I get to my car I remember. Or I start to drive away and I'm, you know, within five minutes of my house at which point I turn around and then I come home. But amazingly enough, there are those days when you kind of just drive to work and you're there at work and you're working for like half an hour or something and then the light bulb goes off. Usually when you want coffee and you need to give yourself insulin for the cream in your coffee and you realize that you totally left what you need at home. And it's at this point that I call my sister in a panic and luckily... The amazing angel that she is, she would drop what she was doing and come bring it to me. I was actually really lucky during that time to not have to leave work and go home. I mean, nobody would have batted an eye if, if I needed to do that. But uh, it was nice to have my sister there to depend on when I'd mess up. And then after my sister reminded me of that story, my mom reminded me of the fact that just a few weeks ago I was visiting my grandmother. My mom and I drove up the coast to go visit my grandmother in Northern California and somehow when we were unloading the car, uh, basically my glucose monitor fell out of my purse and onto her floor and we, you know, unloaded all the cars from going up north and then loaded up my car and then I drove off and I drove home and yeah, I didn't have my, my meter with me and luckily, as I mentioned in an earlier video, I actually have a smaller unit um, that I use as a backup for cases like this. And so after like three days of not being able to locate it in my room and using this backup, I kind of just wrote it off. And then it was hilarious when two weeks later my mom called me and she was like, are you missing something? And, you know, she was kind of worried. I, I mean, I let her know that I had a backup kit, so... She was a little less worried, but as soon as she found that sucker on the floor of her car, she called in a panic. Um, so, you can forget that thing, too. And there's also times when I'll go to sit down for a meal uh, with people or without people, but... I'll sit down and I'll grab this plate of food or whatever and I'll just start eating and then at some point you know a minute in or five minutes in or you know ten minutes into a meal and it will dawn on me that I need insulin and that I should have checked my blood sugar and I should have given myself insulin when I first started this meal and I get really frustrated with myself about the fact that I've completely forgotten and now I'm I'm basically doing damage because well I need insulin and I haven't gotten it but there's also this other weird component that happens where as angry as I am I also get really nostalgic and kind of happy for a moment because 
as weird as this sounds, but for like a minute or however long before I realize that I, I need insulin and I, I administer it, I didn't feel diabetic. Um, I didn't feel like there was something to take care of in order to eat. And I miss that a lot. I miss being able to just sit down and and just tear into whatever meal it is and, and enjoy. Because now I have to remember. I have to remember to test my blood sugar and I have to remember, you know, the equations for how much insulin I'm going to need to cover this thing. And it's those weird moments where I forget my insulin at home and I leave my pump because I get out of the shower and I just get dressed like everybody else does and leave the house or I sit down to eat and I just start eating without giving myself insulin and it's these moments that I'm that interestingly enough I, I try to then remember what it was like before before getting diagnosed and I I can't I can't remember when I try after eight years, it's just, uh, I don't remember what it's like to not have this, like, ticker tape going through the top of my mind that kind of checks in with what I feel like and what my blood sugar is and tries to assess the situation and see if I'm okay or what the contingency plans are if I'm not okay. And I just want to remember what it's like. And oddly enough, in those moments where I just start eating... I don't know that I'm doing this, but that's when I feel like what I'm trying to remember. But now I try not to forget. Despite wanting to remember what it's like to not have to deal with this, now, I, now I'm desperately trying not to forget to bring my insulin or to test my blood sugar and to do all the things I need to do to manage this disease because there's not a cure yet. So it's just something to manage while, while living. So that's kind of what happens when I forget. Cheers.